Anybody who's been involved in taxation, accountancy, or just running businesses over the last few years will have certainly have heard of Making Tax Digital. Now, Making Tax Digital was introduced a few years ago now for VAT and has gradually increased in the number of people who have had to uh, submit their VAT returns using the MTD process. The fundamental logic of MTD is that once you have entered data into a particular IT system, a no human being should be involved in entering data again. Now the idea is, I suppose, that once we've entered in our invoices, we don't need to type anything in again between then and the revenue getting the information on our VAT return. The introduction of MTD for VAT has actually been very successful and has seen an awful lot of businesses accept it, deal with it, and pretty much move on with their normal lives. We've been told that from 2022, all VAT businesses will have to follow the MTD rules, not just those that are compulsorily registered for VAT, but also smaller businesses as well. Now at that point, a lot of people are thinking, well, does this mean I have to have one type of software that gets me all the way through from entering those invoices all the way through to submission of VAT returns? And the answer is no, you don't, not at all. Something called bridging software has become very popular, which picks up the figures from one software and then can move them forwards into the revenue zone system. So our software at Absolute, for example, is Excel based. If you want to keep all of your records in Excel, then you can do so. You then use the Absolute Excel VAT filer to pull those figures out of Excel and file them with the revenue for you. Since we started the product, we now have well over 10,000 people using it, and we filed over 125,000 returns using the Absolute Excel VAT filer. It allows you to keep a track of what's going on with your uh, records, your clients if you have them, or simply your own VAT returns. As well as that, there's an area where you can look at particular common problems, questions, and what have you. Probably best is for you to have a look around the software, and to do that, I'll hand you over to Sarah Murray, our technical director, who will be able to lead you through the product. Any questions, and at the end of this clip, she'll be able to explain who to get in touch with to ask your questions. This is a short video to show you how the Absolute Excel VAT Filer Client Portal works. Logging in to the Client Portal. To gain access to the Absolute Client Portal, you need to go to the web address www.absoluteexcelvatfiler.co.uk. This should then display the page that you can see on screen. From here, you then need to click on Sign In in the top right hand corner of the screen. From this screen, you need to enter your email address. This will be the email address that has been entered into cell C29 of your spreadsheet. From here, you then need to click on Forgot Password, Reset Password. And again, enter your email address. Then click on Email Link. This will then take you to the following screen. We will then send you an email headed Absolute Excel VAT Filer Password Reset. This email may sometimes drop to your junk or clutter folder, so it's worth checking them if you can't see the email in your inbox. From the email, click where it says click here. It will then take you to the following screen. Within here, enter your email address again and set up a password. The password has to be six characters long. Enter the same password into the confirm password box and then click reset. From here, click on the link where it says click here to log in, enter the same username and then the password that you have just set up. Then click sign in. This will then open up the client portal. Account details. We would recommend that the first time that you log into the client portal, you check that the account details that we hold for you are correct. Account details is also where you can amend things like your company name and your email address. To do this, click on the account details button and it should take you to the following screen. Simply click into the field that you wish to amend, make the changes, and then scroll to the bottom of the screen and click on save. From the client portal, you can add and amend login details of both the Absolute Excel VAT filer spreadsheet and the portal account. Within users for this particular company, I can see that I already have six contacts set up. To create a new one, 
click on New Contact, enter the details, then scroll to the bottom of the screen and click on Create. If I then click to the License tab, you should be able to see that a username and password has been created. This username and password needs to be entered into cells C29 and C30 on the VAT filer spreadsheet to enable to file to HMRC. If you go to Portal Logging, you will be able to see that a username has been set up so that this contact can log into the portal and you will also need to create a password. Once you've done that, click on Save and you will be sent an email as the primary contact detailing the username and password details that need to be forwarded on to this particular contact. From the client portal, you can also check any previous submissions that have been made to HMRC. To do this, simply click on the submissions button and the following screen will open. Within here, you will see a list of all the VAT numbers that have been filed to HMRC, along with the corresponding company name, the start date and the end date for the accounting period, along with the date that you actually created and filed the return. You also have the ability to print off any receipts from HMRC. To do this, click on the word receipt here, and in the bottom left hand corner it will start to download the PDF copy. If you click on it, it will open it on screen, and you can then just print it off by clicking on print in the top right hand corner of the screen. We would recommend that you print this off and keep a copy for your records as proof of acceptance. Licence Usage History From the client portal, you also have the ability to check the licence usage history. To do this, click on the option here, and it will then open up the following window. From this window, I can see that I purchased 10 licences, one has been used and I have nine available. It also shows me that those licenses started on the 15th of October 2020 and will expire on the 14th of November 2021. If you scroll to the bottom of the screen, you can also check the license usage history. Here it will show the start date and the end date of the accounting period that you filed to HMRC, along with the corresponding VAT number. From this window, you can also order new licenses. To do this, simply click on Order New Licence in the top right hand corner of the screen and it will then take you to the following page. The licences are sold in batches of 10, so you just need to select the relevant quantity and then click Next along the bottom of the screen. I would recommend that you just double check that you're happy with the details and then scroll to the bottom of the screen. You will need to agree to the terms and the conditions I would also recommend that you read the EULA. If you scroll to the bottom here, and then again scroll down the bottom of the page, you can tick to say that you agree the terms and conditions and then click on Confirm Order. From the following screen, you need to select the payment type, enter the card number, along with the expiry date, and the last three digits from the signature strip. Then click Confirm Card Details. The following screen just displays the transaction details, along with the payment details, the billing address and the shipping address. And provided you're happy with this, click Pay Now in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It will then take you to the following window confirming that the order has been successful. If I then click Go to Sales Orders, I can see that that batch of licences has automatically been added to the hub and I can now start using VAT Filer. Orders. You can also place any orders of the Absolute Excel VAT filer spreadsheet through the client portal. To do this, simply click on Orders in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and the following screen should appear. In this screen, this will give you details of all previous orders that have been made. To create a new one, click on Order New Licence in the top right hand corner of the screen and it will then take you to the next screen. Licenses of the VAT VAT filer are sold in batches of 10, so you simply need to enter the quantity and then click Next. In this screen, you just need to review the entries that you've made. Scroll to the bottom of the screen. We would recommend that you read the EULA and then tick to say that you agree to the terms and conditions. 
click confirm order and it will take you to a screen asking how you wish to pay for the software. Select the payment type, enter in the card number along with the expiry date and the last three digits from the signature strip and then click confirm card details. The next screen just gives you details of the amount that's going to be debited along with the license and the billing address and the shipping address. Provided you're happy with those details, just click pay now in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You should then get a message on screen to say that your order has been successful. If you then go back to sales orders, you should then be able to see that that latest order has been added to the system. Licenses. From within the client portal, you can also check out any information relating to your licenses. To do this, if you click on the licenses option, it will take you to the following screen. Within here, it will give you a list of the total licenses that you have purchased, along with how many you have used and how many are still left available. It will also give you the start date of those licenses and when that particular batch of licenses are due to expire. Knowledge Base. To gain access to our knowledge base, you need to click on the knowledge base button from the home page of the client portal. This will then take you to the following screen. This gives you easy access to resolutions of any error messages being returned by HMRC, but in addition gives details of common questions and answers about the VAT filer spreadsheet. There are two ways that you can search for information in our knowledge base. You can either go through and read all of our latest articles, or alternatively, you can enter something into the search box and then click on search on the right hand side of the screen. Downloads. From within here, you can download the latest version of the Absolute Excel VAT filer spreadsheet for both Windows and Mac operating systems.